guys. So for today, I have a very exciting video for you guys. It's kind of going to be like a first ever because as you know, if you've been following me for a while, I used to do book box battles and you guys loved those videos. Honestly, I think those are the videos that I got like the most views on. Yes, 12000 is a lot to me. <laughs> but sadly, those boxes were very expensive, and I ended up not keeping like 90% of all of the items that came in those boxes. I loved them, but like I don't have that much room in my house to keep everything, so it really just it wasn't worth it. I know, I know. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe in the future, I'll get back to doing book boxes because I really did enjoy them and those videos. So who knows? Maybe you guys can talk me back into getting some. <laughs> but you know what I realized the other day? I have never done a Harry Potter subscription box battle. Like, I've opened, you know, several in one sitting, but I've never actually really battled two subscription boxes against each other so you know what that's what we're gonna do today guys we're gonna battle two Harry Potter subscription boxes against each other the first contender in this video of course is the wizarding trunk you guys know I have been opening the wizarding trunk for quite a while now I am such a fan of the wizarding trunk like they they have my heart so yes, I had to of course pick the Wizarding Trunk. Now, the second box that I'm going to battle against the Wizarding Trunk, you guys, I really had to think long and hard and try to find a Harry Potter subscription box that I thought would like actually hold up against the Wizarding Trunk because I'm sad to say, you guys, it's not Lit Joy Crate for me anymore. I did end up canceling my subscription with Lit Joy Crate. Honestly, I just didn't feel like it was worth it anymore. The items that we were getting for the cost of the box. I mean, it's not Accio, Cauldron Crate, they're on a hiatus. She's, you know, focusing on her life and we love that. You go queen. So I had to search long and hard to find a box to put up against the wizarding trunk. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Insert dramatic music here. <laughs> okay guys, okay, I'm sorry. Don't hate me, this is not clickbait, okay? Yes, both of these boxes are from the Wizarding Trunk. Like I said, guys, I really did search for a box that I think would hold up against the Wizarding Trunk. There isn't one. I mean, if you think there is, let me know in the comments down below. But right now, I honestly feel like the Wizarding Trunk is on a whole nother level than all of the other Harry Potter subscription boxes out there. So I was like, yeah, we're going to battle the Wizarding Trunk against... The Wizarding Trunk. Now, these boxes are different, guys, okay? This first box here is actually their bi-monthly box. You will always know it's the bi-monthly box because it says the Owlery. So, yes, this is the bi-monthly box. And I'm pretty sure the theme for this box is Professors. It's their February box, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to get, like, back on schedule with these. So, yeah, I think this is the February Professor's box, which I'm very excited for. And this box from the Wizarding Trunk is actually their quarterly box. Um, so you get this one every three months. I think the theme of this box is, like, Groundskeeper Hagrid's, which... We all love Hagrid's. I have like a full shelf over here of just Hagrid. I'm going to have to have another one. So yes, this is the quarterly subscription box. And you will always tell because it says the high security vault. This is a new design for the quarterly subscription box. I have to say I'm obsessed. Look at the dragons. I mean, we got some runes maybe. Ooh. Nice. So one question that I actually have been asked a lot is do I recommend the bi-monthly box or the quarterly box from the Wizarding Trunk? And honestly, my answer has always been if you can get both, get both. But sadly, that's just not an option for a lot of people, which is understandable. So today we are going to kind of battle them against each other so you guys can see the difference. Honestly, I really just feel like it's the theme of the box that makes the biggest difference because sometimes I feel like 
a box is better just based on the theme and if you really really enjoy the theme so i definitely recommend following the wizarding trunks instagram i'll try to link it in the description down below because the owner will announce ahead of time the themes of the boxes so if you're not sure which box you want Honestly, just keep an eye on their Instagram, and if you see a theme pop up that you're really interested in, then that's the box you should go for. But guys, as always, that is enough rambling from me. Let's go ahead and jump into these boxes. The first one that I'm going to open is the bi-monthly box. Again, I think this is the professor's box. I might be wrong. Let's do a sneak peek if I can open it. Eh. And here is a sneak peek. So the first item in the box is a shirt. I actually have another package from the Wizarding Trunk because Dustin, the owner, actually realized that he was sending my like old t-shirt size that I used to wear. Um, I have lost some weight, so I'm in a different size. So he's been sending me XXL. And so my husband has really been enjoying all the shirts he's getting from the Wizarding Trunk. But he did send me one in my size. So this is the XXL. L. Let me go ahead and open this one. Okay, so I haven't even really seen the design of the shirt yet, but the material that he uses for his shirts, I would rub it on my face if I didn't want to get makeup on this. Like, this is so soft. I love the t-shirts from the Wizarding Trunk. And this is the design on the front of the t-shirt. It says Ground Keeper's Assistant. And I don't know if you can see, it has like a wand and a shovel. And I do love that the front of the shirt is a little on the understated side. I do know that most people kind of like a little less in your face Harry Potter t-shirt. Me, I love both. Like I could have a shirt that screams Harry Potter and then I can have a shirt that's a little more understated. But this is the back, that is awesome. Oh my gosh, again it says Groundkeeper's Assistant. You guys, I love this. Absolutely love this. I would totally be a groundkeeper assistant with Hagrid. Like I would just follow him around carrying his little bag for him. I would do it and I would rock this shirt. But that was the first item in the bi-monthly box. You guys, look at all these boxes. Okay, let's go for this brown box first. Got some bubble wrap. And it's a potion ingredient, guys. So I'm assuming this is for Professor Snape. The shirt was for Hagrid. This says pufferfish eyes humanely harvested by pure blood apothecary. And it actually kind of looks like little eyes in there. As I always say, perfectly creepy. I love that. As you can see, I have all of my potions across my bottom shelves. So this will definitely be going down there somewhere. Love that. Hate Snape, but love that. I will always be a firm hater of Snape. I'm sorry, guys. And the next item comes in this really pretty black box with silver foiling. I love me some foiling. We know this. And it says Unlocking Magic. And it is another magical key to add to our key collection. And I have to say, I love this key. It is for the restricted section and it even has a little like lantern on there. Like when Harry Potter in book one went to the restricted section. Uh, we have some books like a library shelf and it has like a little face mask kind of thing with words on it. I can't make out the words, but that is cool. Oh, such a cool key. We have gotten a lot of keys. And I'm curious, what are you guys doing with all of your keys? How are you displaying them? I have some like sporadically on my shelf. Like I have, I think the Borgen and Burks one here, Hagrid's there. I think uh, Professor Dumbledore's on Professor Dumbledore's shelf. So I have mine kind of just throughout my shelf, but I also have some that I don't have hanging yet. Like, hold on. Like when I say I have some not hanging, this isn't even all of them. Okay, so I haven't quite decided how I want to display all of them yet. I think I'm going to end up like putting something on my wall and have them kind of displayed that way. But we do have a lot of keys. So I am curious, how are you displaying yours? Let me know in the comments. Next, we have a really pretty green box. I wish this was like the color of my eyes. Like I wish my eyes were that green. <sighs> okay, but let's see what's inside. What? Oh, 
Holy rabies, you guys. No, 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 no you didn't. We have a version of Professor Slughorn's Hourglass. I am obsessed with this. Okay, so at the top we actually have like some snake design with a clock and look at the detail on the snakes. And you guys, this is, it's an actual hourglass. Like the sand, you see it going through? Game night just got elevated. Harry Potter style. Like, what? I have Professor Slughorn's actual replica from Noble Collections. <laughs> wow. And it's actually broke. I had to like super glue part of the little snake head parts back on because my son dropped it. I'm not going to lie. I did not react very well. Um, he cried. I cried. Everybody cried. But it's okay. And now I have a smaller version that I can put down on these shelves. <sighs> Hands down, my favorite item so far. Wow. Wow. Okay, so the next box is literally staring at me. So let's do that one next. Staring at me. I'm not kidding. <laughs> so I think I can say with some confidence we have a Mad-Eye Moody item here or really a Barty Crouch Jr. item because Mad-Eye Moody was never really a professor. Again, the detail on some of these boxes is just phenomenal, okay? Let's get in. Ooh, we have styrofoam. You guys know what I say about styrofoam. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another perfectly creepy item. You guys, it's Mad-Eye Moody's eye but it has a little sticky on the back. We could literally put this on our door like Professor Umbridge did in book seven where she was using his eye to spy on the workers. Not gonna lie guys, this is going directly on my door. Maybe I can trick my kids into thinking that like I could see them at all times with this. They might believe me. Like mommy's always watching. Mommy knows everything. Wow. And this actually has a little bit of weight to it. I hope the sticker like actually holds this. I think this is like resin. I don't know. But I just love this reference and everything. Like that is so ingenious, original, creative. Like I never would have thought of this. And now that I have it, I'm so excited. I'm literally going to put this somewhere in my house and be like, <laughs> oh my gosh this box so far guys like yes next we have a really big brown box not very heavy though but pretty big Ooh, we have more styrofoam guys i love seeing styrofoam hate the sound of it and the mess of it but i love it <gasps> oh what? No way. Oh my gosh. What? So it is a centaur. I'm pretty sure representing Ferenzi when he, you know, taught astronomy. Astronomy? Not astronomy. Oh my God. Divination. <laughs> <laughs> and it even says on here, Mars is bright tonight. Look at the detail of this. You guys, I have to say the Wizard and Trunk lately has been giving us some fabulous like statues. Like look at the one right here from uh, the Ministry of Magic. Like their replicas and stuff right now blowing my mind. This feels like such good quality. Again, I don't have anything like this. I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna go right here on my divination section, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Wow. You guys, I think the box just keeps getting better and better. I don't know how this other box is gonna hold up against this one. I don't see it. But we have another box. Okay, like... This, of course, is to represent Professor D um, Dumbridge, Dumbledore, Dumbledore, 
Uh, <laughs> it is a memory vial and it says Ogden, September 1925. And if you don't know who Ogden is, we see his memories in book six when we're learning about uh, Tom Riddle's past. This is the memory that we see the Gaunt family in. So I love that that's the memory they chose. And I do actually have several of these memory vials on my Professor Dumbledore section. But I feel like this is one of those items that it really doesn't matter how many you get because we kind of want it to look like Professor Dumbledore's in the book where he had tons in the book, in the movie where he had tons of these like vials with around the pensive and everything and it looked so magical. So honestly, this is one of those items that I don't really care how many I get. I will always love it. Now the liquid inside isn't like super swirly magical. It does have like a little sparkle magic moment in there, but not too, too much. It is very sparkly though. So yes, love, 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 love. Put it somewhere where it doesn't break. And next we have a white box. Okay, so this is definitely Professor Umbridge's item. This of course is one of her plat, plat, I cannot talk you guys, plat cates cat plates that she had hanging up in her office. Now I will say, this I think is like my fourth one of these and I honestly don't know how to display them. Right now I'll like take a picture or video of how I'm doing it. I have them like stacked on top of each other. Uh, you know what, hold on, let me just, let me just grab them. This currently is how I have them displayed on my shelf at the very top with uh, Aunt Petunia's pudding on them. So I do have quite a few of these. And I wish I had a better way to display them. Like I wish there was a way I could like put something on here to hang it on the wall. But then again, a part of me doesn't want to do that because I feel like it would break immediately. Like my kids would slam a door, they'd hit the wall, it would just come crashing down. And they really are so cute. I just honestly don't know how to display them. So I think we're just gonna keep adding them to Aunt Petunia's pudding. <laughs> And next we have the book cover. As always, I'm gonna save this for last. Let's move on to the paper items we have. Oh, hold on. Just kidding, we have two pins. The first one says Dueling Champion, and I'm pretty sure this is to represent Professor Lockhart in book two when he said he was a dueling champion five years in a row or something. So yes, love the design, wizarding trunk on the back. As always, it feels like such amazing quality. I need a new pin board because my pin board is completely full. So I also have a pile of enamel pins that I don't have a place for yet because I need a new pin board. I don't wanna get the same pin board, but I do wanna get one that looks like similar to the one I have. I'll put a picture on. So if you know of one that's for sale somewhere or like on Etsy or something, let me know because I'm in desperate need of another pin board, you guys. <laughs> like I love enamel pins, obviously. And we've been getting so many amazing pins from the Wizarding Trunk like just gorgeous pins. I just, I need a place to put them. <laughs> but this is the other enamel pin from the Wizarding Trunk. They have been doing portraits lately, like, like we had Professor Snape last time. So this time we have Professor McGonagall, who as we know, we love, she is a queen, she is everything. And look at the border on this portrait, like, the detail, you guys, is so good. And as always, very good quality. This has some weight to it. Oh, we love Professor McGonagall. She is who I want to be when I grow up. But next, it looks like we have two more additional pages to add to our Magical Creatures book. Now, I did finally, you guys, finally open the box that had the binder that uh, the Wizarding Trunk gave us to put these in. And I absolutely love it. Hold on, let me grab it. I'll just have to show you guys. So this is our Magical Creatures binder that the Wizarding Trunk made. And as you can see, it has all of the previous pages that we got for the Magical Creatures A to Z. Like I absolutely love this. And that we have kind of made like our own textbook from the Wizarding World. So the first page is on unicorns and the back is the untie. Yuntai. 
Um, yeah, that, that creature right there. <laughs> and this is the second page. We got Mer Person and Manticore. Very cool. Again, I love how it's like these were ripped out of a textbook and now we are just making our own love. And next we have a really pretty postcard kind of thing that says be mine. That is so pretty. Very perfect for February, the month of love. And then on the back it says for a small fee, a school cupid will sing your Valentine when delivering. So this obviously is from Professor Lockhart in book two when he did the Cupid thing for Valentine's Day when like uh, Jenny sent one to Harry and the Cupid sang it. That is such a cute reference to the books. Like I honestly thought this was just a Valentine's kind of postcard, but the fact that they added that in, that little twist from the book makes me love this even more. I'll have to give this to my husband and then immediately ask for it back because it's part of my collection, but <laughs> that is the thought that counts, right guys, right? And the last item in the box is our book cover. So I have finally completed my bookshelves as much as I'm going to, so I will try to film a bookshelf tour soon. But if you look right here, this whole section here is just of the book covers from the Wizarding Trunk, and it's not even all of them. I have several that I have not put on books as of yet, but you guys, this is probably one of my favorite sections just because these book covers are always phenomenal. Oh, just kidding, guys. We have two items, the book cover and, and holy gold foiling rabies. So it looks like we have a Mappa Stelliarum. Sure. But this obviously is to represent astronomy. I cannot get over the gold foiling. That is gorgeous. And you can see the constellations on there. Wow. Wow. I don't think the video is doing this justice. I hope you're picking up how gorgeous this really is definitely one that I want to get framed and eventually hung on my wall. I've said that forever now, but I mean it. I really do. <laughs> and the last item is our book sleeve. And this is the book sleeve history of magic. Again, the foiling you guys, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So the wizarding trunk has actually been doing book sleeves for a long time now, but I honestly don't think I will ever get tired of getting book sleeves. They're just, they're just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, one of my favorite sections on my bookshelf, just the covers. <laughs> but guys, that was everything from the Wizarding Trunk bi-monthly box. Let's take a quick look at the cheat sheet. So the theme was professors. I was correct, haha. <laughs> we had, 14 items in this box. When I say there is no other box like the Wizarding Trunk on the market right now, this is why. You get 14 items in one box with some amazing replicas. Like, say less. There really isn't anything else to say. So yeah, I'm not actually going to read the cheat sheet. We literally just went through all of these items. But I did want to let you guys know the next bi-monthly theme is Herbology. So if you are a big Herbology fan like me, you might want to try and grab your box. Okay, so that was the bi-monthly box. As always, you guys will have to let me know. Favorite item, least favorite. <sighs> favorite? This. This. This, 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 this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. Like, I, it's impossible to pick just one. Um, least favorite item. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There isn't one, okay? But guys, we still have one more box left to open. Let's see how the quarterly box holds up against the bi-monthly box. Is it better? Do we get more items? Are they better items? I don't know. 
I don't know. Let me move all of this stuff, make some room, be right back. Okay, so now we're moving on to the quarterly subscription box from the Wizarding Trunk, the high security vault. And I have to say, I love how the Wizarding Trunk is kind of changing up the design of their boxes. Like it's not always the exact same box. And I kind of love that. We get different designs and I think that just keeps it interesting. It keeps it magical. Like it's not just the same old brown box. So again, love the design of this. But like I said, I think the theme of this box is groundskeeper. I might be wrong. Oh no. Oh no, I'm right. First thing we see is the keeper of your keys. So yes, this is definitely the groundskeeper box. Sneak peek. Let's go ahead and start with this item right here. So they have included this massive key ring, just like Hagrid's that he used to like have clipped to his belt with all of his keys on it, that we could clip to our belt or hang on our wall. And look at all the key rings that they included. So hold on, where'd that key go? So here's the key we just got in the last box. So we can literally put all of these different keys oh, on here and hang it on our wall. And the next item is obviously from Hagrid. Wow, okay, let me open these up. So we have some oven mitts from the Wizarding Trunk. It has a little tag here. Look how massive these are. They go almost all the way to my elbow. Like my elbow's right here. Wow, they are bigger than my face. And they have like little peppers on them. Now you guys know I love me a useful practical item, but I do kind of wish these were a little more like magical Harry Potter in your face design because somebody looking at these would not know at all that these were from a Harry Potter subscription box. Like they kind of just look like something you would pick up from Home Goods. And again, I'm kind of the person that loves in your face, Harry Potter, I mean, obviously. Like the first thing people see when they come in my house is the Sword of Gryffindor, right there. They turn their head and bam, Sword of Gryffindor, right there. So people immediately know that I'm a nerd, right off the bat. But I'm a nerd that could stab you in the chest with the Sword of Gryffindor. So needlessly to say, I do like things that are a little more in your face, magical. Shabam, shabam. But again, I do like a practical, useful item that we can use in everyday life. But alas, instead of getting a dragon egg from the fire, we will be getting Mexican chicken from the oven. The life of a sad, sad muggle. <laughs> Wait. We're going back to the gloves. You guys, are these the gloves though that Hagrid used in the movie to get the dragon egg out of the fire? Oh my God. Think, 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 think. I, I think they are. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on, we have to check because that's a whole different scenario if these are actually like the ones he had in the movie. And I think they are. Okay, I am such a muggle because I totally missed that. Hold on, hold on. We, we gotta look, we gotta look. Harry Potter, Norbert is born. <laughs> oh, they are! You guys, they are! Hold on, look at this. Look at this. Okay, do you see his gloves with peppers on them? Okay, I almost missed that and I would have been so, so mad at myself. Okay, now that is a whole different story because we love a secret movie replica. Again, somebody coming to my house and seeing me use them would not know at all that these are Harry Potter magical themed. So in hindsight, maybe that is actually a good thing because they'll be like, yeah, she has a sword of Gryffindor hanging on the wall, but she has regular oven mitts. She's not that crazy. Little do they know. 
Oh, oh my God. I'm so glad. Like, I don't know how that popped up in the recesses of my mind, but I was thinking of him getting the egg out of the fire and I was like, wait a second. Oh, oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Okay. I take back everything bad I said about these gloves. <laughs> I love them. I love them. And the actor of Hagrid, like, oh, he was iconic. He was the best. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've talked about these gloves for a long freaking time. Let's move on to the next item. Let me take it out of the package. I need to calm down. I'm getting too worked up as usual. So the next item is a little tin that says giant pumpkin seeds. And on the back, it says pumpkin spice tea, black tea, pumpkin seeds, apple pieces, elderberry, cinnamon, orange peel, and ginger. Now we all know that I am not a tea girl. I am a coffee girl. I do not like tea. I have tried. I really have. I really have, guys. Don't at me, okay? So maybe you tea drinkers out there would absolutely love this. I will say this smells phenomenal. It honestly reminds me of um, Big Red Gum. That must be the cinnamon, because I'm getting a lot of cinnamon. Oh, but I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, definitely not my favorite item thus far out of both boxes. But again, that's just because I'm not a tea drinker. I won't actually use this. I like the little tin it came in. And next we have another portrait enamel pin. And this one is of Hagrid, of course. You guys, I just love Hagrid. He really is one of the best characters in the books, in the movies. Like, oh, this is amazing. Again, very hefty, very good quality. The border on the enamel pin is just gorgeous. It's like with leaves and stuff. So definitely more outdoorsy. Very appropriate for Hagrid. And next we have a big brown box with styrofoam, yeah. Oh. But you guys, we could not have a box for Hagrid without a dragon egg. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I had to. But yeah, we have a dragon egg. Look at this. Like, I love the color that they chose and how shiny and reflective it is. Like, you can see my lights bouncing off. Oh, I will. I don't know how well. Oh, sad day. It doesn't actually like stay sitting up like this. So I wish we would have got something to kind of keep it upright because when I put it on the table, it kind of just falls to the side and that just doesn't look the same as this. Like I want to display it like this on my shelf. So I will definitely have to figure out something that I can use to like prop it up like this. And next we have our potion nicely wrapped in bubble wrap and it is unicorn hair and it has like a little unicorn wax seal on the top and it really is just unicorn hair in there guys not my favorite potion that i've ever gotten from the wizarding trunk i mean the label is gorgeous we love a wax seal but i honestly just love the potions that have like that magic swirly sparkly stuff you guys know this that's no surprise but yeah unicorn hair again is very fitting for hagrid he kind of just had this hanging around the hut, so. And next we have a, another box that says Unlocking Magic, again with that beautiful silver foiling. So I'm assuming this is our key. So this is the key. When I first saw it, I thought Hogshead. Like immediately that's what popped into my head. But I honestly don't think this is to represent Hogshead. I think this is to represent the entrance, like those pillars that you go through when you're going into Hogwarts because it's the boar with the flying wings and then like right below it it looks like we have some towers maybe to represent the Hogwarts castle. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. We'll have to check the cheat sheet but I kind of feel like this is the entrance to Hogwarts. Like 
the pillars. You know what I'm talking about? I'll, I'll try to find a picture and put it on the screen. But as always, I absolutely love the design, the amount of detail that they're able to get into these keys. I feel like it's just getting better and better. Every single box, like that is just amazing. Gorgeous. I went ahead and added it to my big key ring. So we have two keys on here so far. And next we have another enamel pin and it's the same design as our t-shirt. It says groundskeepers assistant and it's a double enamel pin. So you can actually put it on your shirt and wear around. I won't put it on this one because this is a brand new shirt and I don't want holes in it. But I love that you could wear it if you so choose or put it on a bag or something. This will definitely end up on my pin board eventually when I get another one. And it looks like we have four paper items. The first one is another page for our Magical Creatures book. This time we have Kelpie and Kraken. Ooh, I cannot wait to read these in more depth. I actually really do enjoy reading these and learning kind of about these magical creatures. And next it looks like we have a recipe from none other than Hagrid. And of course it had to be rock cakes. 10 minute prep time, 20 minute cook time, all of the ingredients and directions on the back. Honestly, earlier when I was saying the gloves needed a more magically Harry Potter theme, I was thinking rock cakes or like pumpkins and stuff on there because the rock cakes that Harry, Ron and Hermione always ended up taking with them because they didn't want to make Hagrid feel bad because they were so terrible. <laughs> Like that's so Hagrid. So needless to say, the perfect recipe for a Hagrid box, his rock cakes. And next we have an art print. This is of Hagrid's hut on the inside and like through the window, you can see Buckbeak out there. And what is this on the table? A dragon egg. It's actually on the side on the table. So maybe it wouldn't look as bad like displayed like this because that, that looks super cute. And guys, what is that? What is that? That is the gloves. We have our gloves in there. And look right there, guys. We even have the tin for pumpkin seeds. Oh, that's so cute. They got to have the items that we got in this art print. This definitely looks like JP Mistlecrow's um, work right here. This is definitely his aesthetic. And I love when we get art prints from him because I really do love his artwork. He is so freaking talented. Like this is exactly what I think of when I think of Hagrid's hut but I could never actually put this on paper and like bring it to life. Like this is Hagrid's hut guys. And the last paper item that we have is another edition of the Enchanter. I honestly think they might be including a issue of the Enchanter in every quarterly subscription box. I think so. I might be wrong, but I think so. So yeah, we have another issue. Every time we get one of these, after I'm done filming, I literally sit here and read through the entire Enchanter because these stories are so funny. And there's actually like really good stuff in here that makes me feel like I'm actually in the wizarding world. So I really do love that they include these in the quarterly subscription boxes. I always look forward to the next issue. So I'll give y'all a little sneak peek. Ooh, in custody for selling poison apples, resisting arrests, and escaping custody. Ginger witch. Ooh, I wonder who that really is. <laughs> Okay, we have the contents. Oh, it looks like we have another thing on rock cakes. And it always includes some magical games. And it looks like we have a comic this time. And a puzzle. Some must reads. And some articles. How to extract giant spider venom. And rock cake recipe. Mountain giants misunderstood. And look right here, guys. You kind of have to turn it upside down to read part of it. I mean, what does that remind you of? That is awesome. Hippogriff Rescue Center. More on the ginger witch who escaped. Essential camping tips for wandering wizards. Oh, and horoscopes are included in every issue. So I'm a Taurus. Let's see. You will have a busy period in the near future. And that's not a lie, guys. The Unspeakathon starts tomorrow. Whew, March is going to be busy and I'm doing the 75 hard challenge. Pray for me. Pray for me. Too many things to do can shred your time and energy. Plan your work and stay focused. A platypus might help you with that. 
a platyp a platypus might help you with that. <laughs> I'm getting a pet platypus apparently. Okay, and the classifieds and credits. And this is the back. Again, I know what I'm gonna be doing when I'm done filming this video. <laughs> but the last item in the box that I saved for last is this beautiful big box that says Stormwood's Magical Creature Rescue. I wanted to save this for last because this box intrigued me. I kind of feel like it might be our big item of the box. So let's see. Oh, styrofoam. And I was right, guys. This is definitely the big item of this box. It is a replica a little statue of Buckbeak. Like, again, look at the detail, the feather detail. We have grass down here. Oh, even the face, the beak. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And again, I know I've said it about almost every single item, but this definitely feels like such good quality. Like this has some weight to it. I think it was executed phenomenally. So yeah, that was our last item in the groundskeeper box. But let's take just a quick look at the cheat sheet. The theme of this box was the keeper of the keys and magical beasts. So not groundskeeper box. I don't know why I thought that was the title of this box. Sorry, wrong. The keeper of the keys and magical beasts. There was 13 items in this box. And the next quarterly theme is favorite witches and wizards. Hmm. So maybe a Luna Lovegood item, who y'all know is my favorite, fingers crossed. So yes, guys, that was the quarterly subscription box from the Wizarding Trunk. As always, you guys will have to let me know what you think, favorite item, least favorite. Favorite item, hands down for me, is the gloves. I honestly did not think it would be at first, but... I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with these gloves now, but honestly, these two, I mean, cannot be overlooked. Absolutely gorgeous. Least favorite item would actually probably be the unicorn hair. Again, just not my favorite type of potion to receive. I normally would say the tea because tea automatically for me is normally my least favorite. But again, I love the box that it came in and it smells phenomenal. I honestly might just kind of leave it propped open on my bookshelf just to get that like cinnamon smell in my room. So yeah, I actually really liked this item. But for the sake of this video, guys, this is a battle. This was a battle of the Harry Potter boxes. Wizarding Trunk bi-monthly versus Wizarding Trunk quarterly. Which one was the best? Now, even though I loved both boxes, I have to say the winner of this Harry Potter subscription box battle is... Drum roll, please. Trunk by monthly box. That is right, guys. Honestly, that first box just kind of blew me out of the water. Now, Hagrid is one of my favorite characters, but I just love all of the items that we got from the first box. I did not have a least favorite. Every single item was phenomenal. Amazing references, amazing replicas. So even though I did like this second box, the winner definitely was the first, the bi-monthly box. Now, for those of you who always ask me, which one would I recommend? Again, I really think it just depends on the theme of the box because the Wizarding Trunk doesn't really make bad boxes, obviously. They always have amazing items in their boxes. But like I said earlier, I really just think you will like a theme more than another theme. So again, I definitely recommend following the Wizarding Trunk on their Instagram. And hopefully this video did help you see the Wizarding Trunk and the differences between the boxes. But again, guys, let me know what you thought of these boxes in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Exciting video for the video. I always have to do at least like three takes of my intro. Why, I don't know. Okay, that was take one. Today's video, I... Hmm. Y'all, the chair that I'm sitting on is kind of broken just a little bit. Let's just pray to God I don't like break the chair and like fall and shatter everything.
<sighs> okay. Oh. Wow. We. Oh, that's my. Oh, that's my teacup. Can't break that. Unlock the magic. Well, I can't unlock the box. Open. Oh my God. Open sesame. Alohomora. Hey, that actually worked. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Why did I think it was a good idea to wear a long sleeve black shirt in front of all these lights? I will never know. We'll never know. Where's my knife? Oh, I might need my knife. Oh, no, I got it. <laughs> it's a centaur, you know, with the air bow. Air, air bow? <laughs> And we are to the last box in the I in the item book two when they had that uh uh where when he had vault again I just uh, excuse me oh my god <laughs> again I why are you calling me I don't know you go away shit chocolate mushrooms. Uh, is the people at the Wizarding Trunk, like, psychic? Did they just, like, foresee me saying that I don't know what to do with all of the keys we're getting and that I'm gonna hang them on my wall? There is a Hall of Prophecy at the Wizarding Trunk. They saw this happening. Wow. Why do things not want to open for me? <laughs> and the train is back, of course. <laughs> Y'all, I don't lie, that train goes by my house so many freaking times a day, but I honestly never really notice it unless I'm filming. On my big, maybe. Maybe I will. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That's stupid. Never mind. Let's take a Harry Potter book. Uh, I'm not hot. I'm not hot at all. Da -da -da! Train, train, go away. It's getting hot in here. Let's leave on all our clothes. Dun, dun, dun. This is a G-rated channel. Dun, 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 dun. But legit, guys, I need the fan on, but it's so loud. It's like the loudest fan in the world. Why isn't there a fan that makes no noise? That's what I need.